Hey YouTubers, in this episode I will be showing you this cool effect you can do in Photoshop that looks like your text is hovering over um, some water and it's reflecting up and it looks pretty cool. Uh, the, here's an example. Uh, that's what it looks what like. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a new canvas. So hit File, New. I'm going to make a uh, little banner, 800 by 300. Hit OK. There we go. Now we're going to fill it with, up with a primary color. So go ahead and hit Alt, Delete. Now all I need to do is add in some text. So here we go, just select the text button. Let's see. Oh, need to change the text color. I am yo mama. There. I'm just going to center that to make it look more professional. It almost looks like an Apple ad. Okay, so now what basically what you want to do is you want to, uh, duplicate this layer. So we're going to go ahead and drag this down to the uh, stick d-pad thing. It's also the duplicate layer button. It's next to the trash can. So just let go there. And there. You don't see the new layer because it's right on top of the other one. So basically now you want to rasterize it. So go to layer, rasterize, type. Now after that, go to edit and uh, free transform. Now you see that little square there? Just drag it down slowly until the text looks even. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Actually a little more. Maybe. Okay, perfect. So now you can go ahead and apply that transformation. So it looks pretty good. You can see the mirror effect going pretty well. What you want to do now is you want to uh, fade away the bottom a little. So we're going to use the rectangular marquee tool, set feather to 10px. And just draw a square right in the middle of it. Right there, perfect. And let go. Hit delete that key. There we go. Now just go back to the selection tool and just move it. Perfect. So that is how you do the mirror effect. And oh, if you don't uh, like this, you can go ahead and change the opacity. That makes it a lot of much more realistic. I'm going to change it to, say, 65. And that looks better. So that's the way to uh, make a reflection using Photoshop. I'm guessing this is how Apple does it too, because it looks, I see a lot of Apple ads like this, and I was just wondering how to do it. So I finally found a way to do it. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Subscribe! Subscribe!